This week's Parsha is Parsha's Noach. There's a question. Why was the flood put on Noach's name? There's a Pasuk in Ishiyahu that says, May Noach, the waters of Noach. So we see that the flood was put on Noach's name. The Zohar explains in Parsha Bereshis that the reason why the flood was put on Noach's name was because Noach did not pray for his generation. He did not pray that they should be saved. But Rav Chaim Shmuel Lovitch, the great Rosh Hashiva of the last generation of Mir, has a question on this. How is it possible that Noach didn't pray when the Midrash says that Noach didn't sleep day or night in order to save all the animals, in order to save his generation? And he was working on the ark for years. And he was telling people to repent. How is it possible that he didn't pray for them? It doesn't make any sense. Now we could potentially answer this question by looking into next week's Parsha. We see that Avram Avinu stopped praying for Saddam when he realized that there was less than 10 righteous people in the generation. And Rashi explains there the reason is because he learned from Noah. He saw that in Noah's generation there was less than 10 righteous people and God did not save the world. So he learned from Noah that it's not shy, it's not applicable to pray for less than 10 because God will not save the world for less than 10. So maybe this is the reason why Noah himself didn't pray. But now the question returns, why was the flood put on Noah's name? If he wasn't supposed to pray, he didn't do anything wrong by not praying. So in order to answer this question, Rav Chaim Shmuelovich brings the Gemara in Sota. The Gemara in Sota 11a explains that Paro was asking for advice for what to do with the Jewish people, how to destroy them. Bilam gave the answer, and he was killed by the sword. And Eov was quiet, and he received as his punishment tremendous suffering, and Yitro ran away, and he received reward for this. The question is, what did Job do to receive this tremendous suffering? All he did was he was silent. I mean, he didn't do much worse than what Yitro did. Yitro ran away, because Yitro understood that it was not shaykh, it was not applicable to speak to Paro. What are you going to tell Paro, not to do anything to the Jewish people? So what did he do so wrong by not speaking up, by keeping silent? In order to answer this question, we have to say that the reason that Eob was silent was because he didn't care. Even though he knew it was fruitless to speak up, but he should have reacted. He didn't react. Why didn't he react? Must be he didn't care. And therefore, Mita Kenegin Mita, tit for tat, he received suffering, tremendous suffering. Since he didn't care about the suffering of the Jewish people, so he received suffering himself. So now we can understand why the flood was put on Noach's name. Because Noach didn't care enough. He didn't care enough for his generation to pray. Even if he knew it was fruitless to pray, he should have prayed anyway. Because when somebody's in pain, they cry out, regardless of whether it's going to help or not. We know when someone gets hurt, they cry, regardless of whether it's going to help them or not. And this is the reason why the flood was put on Noach's name. And what about Avram? He also stopped praying. It's true Avram stopped praying, but he reacted. He prayed for 40, he prayed for 30. He prayed that God would save the world for this amount of people. But when it came to 10, he realized it was fruitless and he stopped. But he reacted, he cared. Now what's the lesson we learn from this? We know that God requires from us and demands from us that we care about other people. We have to care about our generation. We have to pray for other people. We have to care for other people. This is something that God loves and God cares about. And we are obligated to care about everyone and to pray for everyone. Have a great Shabbos.